They are coming again. I can feel them from here. She is my sister. He is her lover. But I'm not sure. She could be my wife and he my son. It doesn't matter. They talk about common things. Money, sex and food. I suppose I'm rich. Otherwise I would be worried. Perhaps I made some capital before working with my father. Or when I went to the university. Or maybe I was luckier than other men and I received financial aid. I'm not worried about money. That's the case. I don't like food. And I wouldn't care to live in another place. corner or sitting in the middle of a street. Nothing terrible can happen to me in this world. Just to die. But who says that to die is boring? Ventures and shit, making uh, a lot of money. Yeah, like I was like riding around the city, and I finally found my business. I'm pretty sure I will start making some money in the next few months. Great, great, a lot of money a year. Yeah. yeah, it's really what I wanted, and I'm really. I think the business will roll pretty fast. Uh -huh. Big profits. Well, when you I'm get sure your big I profits, I hope you don't get me. I wrote a book, I believe. So many people had certain hopes on my future. Today is a nice day. The sky is blurry and there are many ravens around. Now I can see the clouds. I like them because they look as you want. And they are never the same. They remind me of things and stories. Books that I read when I was young because I was tired of talking. My favorite is the story of she and he crossing the street. She wants a man and he wants a woman. They glance at each other from two opposite corners. In any city, in any street, they know they can be perfect lovers, so they cross the street. The problem is that they don't want to be first. They want to love each other with equality. So they don't stop, and they just switch positions. She thinks that there are not many opportunities in this life, so she wants to ask him about an address. He thinks that there are not many opportunities in his life, so he wants to give to her his apartment's keys. But probably he will think that he has things to do, like seeing TV or calling his mother. Then he will leave, breaking her heart. 
Or probably she will think that she has things to do, like seeing TV or calling her father. Then she will leave, breaking his heart. That's the end. I mean, there is no end. They are there thinking about their future and their past, doing nothing. That's life. That's fate. That's eternity. Heaven and hell. They lack end. You can wonder about the decision for always. I suppose they are fucking around, taking care of their duties with life. I'm farting. They are moving away. I know my body stinks. I have confused memories of all my adult life. I was obsessed with cleaning. That's true. I used to struggle against dust in the belief that I was better than clay. Until I felt disappointed, for I realized that it is impossible to clean something. We are but samples of decay. We are but fiery dust that die. I was known as a fashionable atheist. A Marxist who believed still in the creed. But at the end I was unable to deny my divinity. I tried to improve people's lives, wishing to be loved forever in return. Until the vigor of my youth was gone. I also studied politics. I don't know how. I climbed up the stairs of power and I addressed my speech to the mass. But soon I realized I couldn't be better than other kings or presidents. I left the world as foolish and wicked as I found it. To say that. She's washing my body. I know she wants to kill me. But she is afraid of someone or something. Last time, she submerged me in the tub for one minute. I saw a black hole and a tunnel. So I knew I lost my right eyesight. But I survived. One day, someone will try to persuade me to sign a paper. I know they were trying to kill me. They will be annoying her life till the end. It's my paper. I don't hate her. She seems happier than me, like my wife. Of her, I don't remember many things. She used to tell me stories about her ex-lovers, 
of how she enjoyed better moments with them. She must be dead by now. And of our song. I hope he will forgive me for his suffering. I forgave my father. I'm sure he'll do better than me. It's good to know it. We are in the same mud. I feel a pain in my knee, a cold pain. Perhaps it is cancer. Physical pain relieves my worries. She closed the window. Now there is no contact with the world. The night has come, but at least I feel tired. I will make an effort to cross my hands, like the dead people. I hope to have some nightmare, because I always forget the good dreams. Thanks to life, I will be dead, at least for today.